Hey guys, how's it going? Jacob here. So, um, you may have seen my From Dust Till Dawn review, right? Right? If you haven't seen it, please go check it out before, um, watching this review. Um, so I watched From Dust Till Dawn last Sunday, and then right after, right after From Dust Till Dawn, I watched From Dust Till Dawn 2 and 3. This is my review of From Dust Till Dawn 2. So, <sighs> from Dust Till Dawn 2, Texas Blood Money, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. What really made me want to watch this movie was the fact that it had Bruce Campbell in it. Like, his name was all, like, Bruce Campbell from Dust Till Dawn 2. So I figured, alright. Bruce Campbell is in the first five minutes of the movie he's not even in the movie he's in the first five minutes of the movie it's like he's actually he's not even in the movie at all he's just like a part of a commercial it's like one of those scenes where it's like you're watching the movie and then like he plays as some guy in an elevator but it turns out that you're just watching a commercial you're watching what the actor is watching in the movie and it's not real and you're like that was Bruce Campbell's part, are you freaking kidding me? So, as you may know from Dust Till Dawn, the whole thing is pretty much centered on the Titty Twister bar, um... You know, that's, that's, that's the whole From Dust Till Dawn movie, that's, that's where the main things happen, you know, that's, it's that bar, it's that, it's just that one location where it's just all hell breaks loose. Without that location, there would be no From Dust Till Dawn. Um, unfortunately, this so-called movie does not have that titty twister bar in the movie it's um it's not i can't even talk straight right now um so yeah the t the the bar it's not it's not even in the movie it there's no there's i think there's one there might be one scene where it shows in the movie other than that it takes place in a totally different place. I'm just thinking, why would you do this? Why would you do this? I did, however, find out that Danny Trejo was in the movie. Um, yeah, actually, Danny Trejo is the only actor who is in all three from Dust Till Dawn movies. The only returning actor. Um, he did play the same part as he did in From Dust Till Dawn as a bartender, I believe. Yeah. Um, he's in like a scene or two, you know, I guess I, I guess he did good, like, I don't know, this movie's terrible. Throughout the whole movie, I was just watching it like, oh, why was this movie made, why, why, why was this movie necessary, why couldn't, why couldn't they just leave From Dust Till Dawn alone and not make any sequels whatsoever? This sequel was terrible. I did not like it at all. Maybe if it was a totally different movie, I would have liked it more. It's not, however. It's just, it's just a, it's, it, ha it so happens to be called From Dust Till Dawn 2. Therefore, it is apparently, supposedly, a part of the From Dust Till Dawn franchise. <sighs> the movie's about, like, a guy and he... He turned into a vampire, and so basically there's like these people after him, or no, he's, I forget, I think he's killing vampires, or there's vampires after him, or a little bit of both, I don't know. Um, but yeah, he turned into a vampire, and he's like out in the streets, the whole movie kind of takes place like out in the streets, or like a, you know, um, and he's sort of killing vampires, you know, here and there, it's just... I I didn't I did not like the special effects in here. I did not like them at all. They were not. Do not compare them to the first From Dust Till Dawn movie. The first From Dust Till Dawn movie was amazing. I loved it. This movie I I just wished it, this movie was just not made. Why was this movie necessary? <sighs> Overall, I would probably give From Dust Till Dawn two one and a half out of five stars. It did have some cool action scenes here and there. Kind of cool. 
The rest was just bull crap. I did not like it. It's terrible. Do not watch it. Have you seen it? I don't even know how many people have seen it, but if you have if you haven't seen it, I good for you. Don't watch it. It's avoid this movie at all costs. Just avoid it. Avoid the third one too. I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna make a review of the third movie, but do not pretend the movie the sequels are not real. Don't, they don't exist. Just watch from dusk till dawn because it's a kick ass movie. That's all you really need to watch. Don't watch the sequels. Just don't even care about them. If you see if you see the sequels and just go, oh no, Jacob told me to stay away from those. Just do that. Just don't watch them. Just go home and watch from dusk till dawn. You might as well. Alright guys, that's it for today's review slash rant, kind of. Um, I'm Jacob Palacio. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next, and I will see you guys later.